I'm SirTapTap, and this is Abyssrium World. This is a teaser that was released by Flaro Games. It's the next Abyssrium game, it looks like. And uh, there's not too much of it, there's like a 40 second teaser here. But uh, we get to see what looks like a pretty big world here, lots of different biomes. It kind of looks like Subnautica, but you know, super happy and chill. Um, there's some obvious reused assets, there's some obvious new assets. Um, some of the fish look much different, which is interesting because some of the, some of the art, like the um, the sperm whale we saw going around there, looks very different. Or no, that was the blue whale, I think. Looks very different art style wise from a lot of the other stuff. There's the backpack shark. Um, it looks kind of chow gardeny, actually. The, there's toys, I think, like the present, the little coke bottle. Those look like toys, and there's multiple different coralites, which is interesting. Um, Visually, it looks good, which that's the one thing that the Bistream games always have done well, right? They always look good, so I can't judge it too much on that. I do like the variety that I'm seeing. Um, Abyssrium Pole, I got really tired of fast. Uh, it turns out the Arctic is not a very varied ecosystem and is not super exciting stuff, and the events pretty much immediately went off the rails and stopped being of the theme, so... It's interesting that this one um, seems to have different stuff from the get-go. Um, we don't know anything about this game other than this. Hey, that leatherback actually is colored properly now. Um, we only know this and, and this 40 second trailer that I'm just leaving on loop. And um, there is the... Uh, oops, hold on. There's a little bit more that I can show you here. There we go. Sorry about that. Um, the... Um, the pre-registration is open, but the pre-registration for Abyssrium Pole was available four months before it actually came out, so it's not necessarily going to come out soon. Is it just me or is that turtle as big as like a whale? Um, Parker loves his new toy, he's going nuts. Um, so I don't know what to think gameplay wise, I do like the variety um, of areas here. My biggest hope is A. There will be a lot of different stuff to do. Um, I recently started actually playing Pole, and there's really nothing to it. You just cast your skills, watch the ad for the vitality, upgrade coral first, um, buy a fish if you can, buy as many fish, usually five of each, um, then upgrade coralite last. Parker, are you? Parker is going nuts, that's my cat by the way. Uh, which, if you want to see my cat, I have a playlist full of cat videos. Check out the rest of the other stuff on my channel, by the way. I know Abyssrium is usually what people, you know, people that play Abyssrium only play Abyssrium. And, you know, people can play what they want, but try a little variety in your life. I got a lot of videos of other different games. Um, cost you nothing to watch them, so check them out sometimes. Some, um, you can use the little mini player while you're playing Abyssrium and watch my other stuff. And come to think of it, actually. Um, so, back to what I want for the game, though. N number one, more stuff to do. I don't want to just be in the same loop of watch this ad, upgrade this item, watch this ad. It's it's boring. There's There's got to be more to it than that. Look at Idle Apocalypse, for instance. That's an idle game that has a good amount of depth that does eventually get stuck into a loop. But there is a good amount of stuff going on. And um, I'm really hoping with the different core lights, we have like different areas to engage with, different different paths to upgrade and stuff. Um, because Abyssrium Pole, gameplay-wise, um, I would say it's a little easier, ultimately. It's, uh, it's kind of smoother than the regular Abyssrium, um, but there's just nothing extra to it. There's no real gameplay difference other than couple photos, and the unlocks are actually more boring. Um, I would love to see Hidden I really hope Hidden Fish make a return. I don't know why Flaro Games thinks they're bad. That was kind of the one exciting gameplay thing is like trying to figure stuff out and talking to people and be like, oh, I, I got this fish. Have you got this thing? It's like, oh, no, I got this other thing. And you, you talk to each other. And that's the thing I don't see. The game, the game's kind of killed its community because there's no hidden fish. The events are so grindy that people stop playing. And there used to be a great community in this game. There used to be so many people talking about it constantly on my Facebook, on my YouTube. There used to be tons of comments. Um, talking about what they would like to see added to the game. Now, I just get constant comments from people that clearly just started playing the game this month and like have never played an event before. And um, there's just this feeling that it's like maybe like 20 to 30 of us like old time players still doing stuff online. 
and like a bunch of new players that get churned out in like a month. And uh, there just isn't that community feeling anymore. And I feel like removing the hidden fish is a big part of that. Um, another thing I would like to see, no events for several months. Um, because Abyssrium Pole, once they started releasing events, pff, no changes to the main gameplay. Ever. They just completely abandoned the main game. And there's nothing to it. Like I said, it's, it's so plain. There's nothing to do but switch to the new event and buy the new fish. And the new fish unlocks or just buy five of the previous fish. Take some photos and watch like 300 ads. That's all there is to it. Um, regular Abyssrium has suffered the same fate. The last... God, what even was the last real normal tank gameplay change? It was really just the, the lottery fish. Which, th that's not even really gameplay. It's just a gush upon. That's right, Parker. It's not... The, the last interesting thing they did was Freshwater. That was like two years ago. Freshwater and the event tanks, which again, those are events. And they, they just only focused on the events, and eventually the events are just, you know, it's the same exact gameplay, but they just put new models on it. I mean, new fancy stuff to see is the main attraction, but there should be some gameplay. There should be some new stuff to try. Um, there should be a feeling of progress that's not just make more fish. So, I really hope they focus on the main gameplay for... Give me like... I think it was like four months in regular Abyssrium. It launched, what, in August? Was it earlier? No, I think it was early in August because my guide was August. I think it was like June or July and it, it, they waited till October. So it was several months before the first event. And the first event was pretty minimal too. It was very much a trial run thing. Um, they had pretty intermittent events and they released lots of updates for the main game in between events. It wasn't just events every month. So if they do have events, I don't want them to be monthly. I, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite because early on, early on in Abyssrium, I was like, why aren't events just monthly? Because it was frustrating because they, there would just be long periods with nothing to do. But what I would like to see, really see is an event here, a gameplay update there, an event, gameplay update, you know, something to keep the main game interesting because I don't do anything with my main tank in Abyssrium. The only reason I still have stuff to do in pole is because I went for the event creatures first. Um, so I used a bunch of my vitality on that instead. So I'm kind of behind on the main stuff. But there's nothing to the gameplay. I'm sorry if you're getting annoyed watching the, the loop. It's, it's very slowly starting to get to me too. Um, I just wanted... This is their, all there is to see. We don't, we don't know anything else about the game yet. I do hope that managing fish is better. I'm really tired of like constantly storing all of my fish. Those are the worst unlocks, by the way. Take a picture of this thing and this thing, or only tap the bubbles from this thing, and it causes me to store the whole tank and there's no easy way to put it back. That sucks, I hate that. This is a game about looking at fish for Christ's sake. I shouldn't be constantly storing it and looking at like one blue tang. That's, that is, that sucks. And that's one of the things that makes me think like, I don't think Flaro Games actually play this the game. We're kind of, we're two, they've been bought out twice now. It's kind of a soulless husk. I, I hope better for this game, but... Whew, the, the, the precedent is very bad. The precedent is not, uh... It's not looking too hot, but... Uh, where, where did that Switch game go, by the way? I was really hopeful for the Switch game, because you couldn't just slam it full of ads. Which, maybe that's why they killed it. Um... I was hopeful for that one because like they would have to do real gameplay, they would have to not just cram ads down your throat and maybe maybe it would be interesting. Maybe you know, or at least it would just even just the same game without ads. I mean, you know, I'd pay 30 bucks for that. As long as the curve is not like quite as crappy because you know, there's no reason to be if it's a premium game. That's why I wish mobile was more premium. I know a lot of people just play Abyss Dream because hey, it's free and they don't, you know, they don't want to, which that's kind of a crappy attitude, I have to say. Uh, I've had people say, I don't want to spend two dollars on a game. That's like a Snickers bar. You don't want to spend it on a, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars going to projects like this. Like, people spend years of their life making this stuff, and people are like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll give you one cent. Like, ah. I just hate this entitlement that, that mobile games have made for people. Which is funny because mobile games that are quote unquote free, they treat you like crap. They make you watch a billion ads, they make everything gosh upon, and they bleed money out of you because of the gosh upon instead of just being upfront. 
And so you end up, some people end up spending tens of thousands of dollars trying to get, you know, the blue wizard in their Gashapon game. So you don't have to spend. And then you, you know, if you don't spend, you get, you get to grind 60 hours a week, you know, a second job kind of stuff to even just try to get the blue wizard. And then you don't, of course. But anyway, that's, I'm, I'm getting kind of rambly, High Parker. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting a little rambly. That's that's about all I have to say about this. I, I'm not going to try and infer. I'm not going to game theory this and try to infer that, oh, as you can see here, there's a beach ball, which will become very important. You see the beach ball is Ness from Earthbound, and you see you have to push the beach ball. It's a metaphor for the human condition. It's beautiful. Um, no, <laughs> we're not going to do that. So visually, I like it. Let's not do events. Let's focus on the main gameplay. Let's Give me stuff to do. That's my biggest request. The fish, I know the fish are going to look good. Um, I'm almost not interested because I just, I know they will be good. And so I'm not going to be like, oh, I hope they have great fish. Of course they will. I'm interested in what you do. I'm interested in what will keep me not frustrated. Because Flero Games has not been very good at that. That's right, Parker. You tell them. And I really hope unlocks are not just buy five the previous thing. I'm so tired of that. I'm so sick of that. Make it like a scavenger hunt. Make it something weird. Make it something I couldn't even guess. Make it interesting, please. So, that is Abyssrium World. I will have another video if we have, you know, if there's if there's another thing to talk about. Uh, by the way, please don't leave Abyssrium comments on non-Abyssrium videos. Um, I would say 95% of the questions people ask are already in the guides. Go to SirTapTap.com, just Google, or just search for what you're looking for. Or just Google SirTapTap and then like the fish name. Um, I can pretty much guarantee you will find it. I, I've almost never been asked a question um, that's not in the guide. So definitely check out the guides. That's the weird thing is like, if people ask me, obviously they know I make guides to, to be able to even bother to ask, right? So why, why don't they look at the guides? I don't get it. Anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, check out some of my other videos as well. Especially in this little gap between um, before Abyssrium Worlds. I assume Pole will get the axe. I don't have any inf inside information on that, but I'm just kind of guessing that. I think it'll be kind of abandoned. Um, and if my videos in Abyssrium and other stuff help you out, check out my Patreon. Check out um, my YouTube membership thing. Click that little join button and uh, you can support me in my videos. It's pretty cool. And you get benefits too, so check it out.